Good morning, Modernstetters. It's nice, 47 degrees out this morning. Tonight we have a frost advisory. It's a little early this year. I was checking the weather last night and I was totally surprised when I saw that. So we're gonna keep an eye on the weather tonight and see what ends up happening. How's everyone doing? Going for a free ride. We're gonna leave the chickens inside New York City for now. We gotta move that later on this morning. You guys keep making a mess with your feed. I picked up some plywood yesterday. Need to get the goat barn sealed up and less drafty for the winter time. You wanna get out? You ready to come out? Girls look like your coats are getting fuzzier. Are you getting your winter coats on? It looks that way. Still can't get over how much feed these three little turkeys are going through. Well, I guess they're not so little anymore, but they're eating almost two scoops of grain a day. That much. I was hoping that this project I'd be able to take my time and do. But now they're calling for a couple of inches of rain next week. So I feel like we need to get as much done as we can. The weather doesn't want to cooperate with us this year. You like all that noise?
All right, so I'm working, guys. This is my view. That doesn't get old. We ready to move New York City? Yep. That's what I wanted to show you. Yesterday I was mowing and I had this huge rock come out of the ground. It didn't hurt the mower or the tractor at all. But watch this. Right there, there used to be a flat rock. Right there. Right here are the grasses. I put fresh loom here and put grass seed. Want to see the rock that came out of the hole? This rock popped up out of the ground. What? Yeah, I mowed over it and that thing was sitting up on the lawn. And this pot right here, yeah, this pot right here is what you saw in the grass. It was flat. Isn't that crazy? It was huge. I have socks on too. I don't like it. And they keep falling off. I like socks You do? Yeah. I don't because they keep falling off. I have chicken socks on. Chicken socks. Girl's ready to get out in a few minutes. Rock right at the end. Perfect. Couple more. I'd go with the shorter one. That really doesn't work. Yeah, they're handmade by Al, so they're all different. I think some chicken snuck oh. out of your egg box. I was waiting for that. Yeah, okay. they all come. Got some escapees coming out the backside. I opened this thing. Guys, got some nice new fresh grass. Find the oven. What do you think of all the fresh grass? I see you. Well, I'll my head down there, you don't want to get poopies dust on your head? Can I put those eggs in that bucket? Yep.
plenty of fresh grass. Coming to check it out already. Hey, if you eat my drill, I can't finish building the barn for you. <sighs> Gina wants you. Go. You girls comfy? Huh? Are you comfy? I don't think they're gonna like it when I start cutting. Guess they don't care. They must be used to all the commotion. I hope this isn't too personal, but I don't know what I did, but I burnt the roof of my mouth. I got like a bubble up in there. But I don't know what I would have done it with. Man, I guess I'll have to keep thinking about it. Every time I put something in here, they think it's for them. Don't break it up, man. I don't even got luck yet. Do you like that? You gotta come check out my work there, Buttercup. You approve? Huh? I might fall over on ya. Do you approve of it? Huh? What do you think? Is it past the goat inspection? It should make it warmer and cozier up here for you, I bet you. What do you think of this? You don't like it. What's that? Lunch is, lunch is ready. Let me finish screwing this piece of plywood up and I'll be in a minute. Okay. You girls like your new digs? 
That was a good lunch. Oh, I thought you were gonna show my socks. I was. I was gonna say nice chicken socks. My friend gave them to me. Ooh. I'm going back out to the goat barn. Let me know when it's time to leave. Okay. I think this is what happens. Willow and Buttercup hang out and they kick Blossom out. So she ends up feeling bad and she comes over here to the buffet and just goes inside and eats. You know, that's not like a goat cradle. You're not supposed to go in there. Which side's the factory side? This side. It fits and everything lines up. Oh, no, just kidding. I knew I had to do that. Okay, I'll get ready. Guess we got to pick up for the day. <sighs> Supposed to get a frost night, so we're just gonna grab what we can. Maybe we can. <laughs> We have clippers. Just twist it off. Alright. I thought I'd just clip it off. That's not no, you might just have to oh, twist maybe I it. Did do it. Or maybe mm. it just did it itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the other one? And I'm gonna get the small one. Oh, we are? Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna lose it. It's a good squash. It is? It's not even a spaghetti squash. This is a, these are good squashes. They didn't get very big, but they still taste good. What is that? Like a miniature spaghetti butter squash? Butter. Uh, so that's a butter cock. squash? Butter cock. And I ain't gonna grab these ones either. No, but there's still spaghetti squash. Oh, uh, there's also some down there. <laughs> Muscles for this, huh? Yeah. Well then. Well then. I guess we can just get the whole plant with the squash. <laughs> That'd be funny if you just got the whole entire plant without the squash. There we go. Not too bad. No. We got a barbecue to go to this afternoon. I made our own hot dogs the other day. I 
hope they don't get too offended when I show up with homemade hot dogs. I'm trying not to blind you. Can't look at you. All right, guys, that was a good cookout. Them hot dogs were delicious. We gotta lock up the goats. It's 48 degrees out right now, and I'm curious to see if we get a frost or not. I guess we'll find out in the morning. I think we better shut the goat's window tonight. It's gonna be a cold one. It's supposed to get down to 35 with a frost advisory. I guess we'll find out if we get a frost tomorrow morning. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.